you really have to work and work and work in order to learn how to bend that glass tube over an open flame. They have to pump it full of gas and phosphor and then electrify it. You come inside and there's this big dark room with all this historic signage. When they had the museum, I said, oh, this is cool. At least they're preserving some of the old iconic ones. I always like to see what's happening here. Plus the lightning bolt stuff, I think it's the plasma stuff is super cool. <laughs> The Museum of Neon Art is an exhibition space and also a classroom where we teach the art and craft of neon glass blowing. We preserve history of Southern California, so we have signs from the 1920s to present day. I like to come to a lot of the museums when I come to Los Angeles, and this is one of the ones that's so unique and interesting that even though it's not maybe the biggest museum, I think it's still one of the most interesting to come in and see. The fact that you need all these colors and bend it so it's free-flowing, it's almost, almost organic. I like to think about these signs as time capsules to the moment that they were made. You know, an artist working with flame and glass in that specific moment. That gas was in there when the sign was made and it stays that way for 75 years. If it's on a grocery store market, if it's liquor, motels, or live nude girls, that neon sign was made by hand. And more often than not, that neon sign might find a home at the Museum of Neon Art.